Hey guys, what's up? It's Scott Clark with Scooter Media, and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to set up a camera to shoot video in full manual mode. This is the first video in a mini series I'm putting together for beginner content creators to improve their skills using a camera and shooting videos. I know when we first start out that we like to put the camera in full auto mode and let it do its thing, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But once you start to understand what the camera is doing inside, you're gonna to wanna to be able to control it and be able to get the image that you want and not rely on the automatic mode of the camera to do everything. We're gonna set the exposure, the frame rate, the shutter speed, the ISO, the aperture, the white balance, and the autofocus all to manual, as well as bringing up the histogram to be able to see our exposure in this video. I'm gonna bring my camera outside to set it up in manual mode so that it is ready to shoot outside in the next video. In part two of this series, we will get into how and when to adjust these manual settings, as well as how to read the histogram to help nail exposure. But for now, why don't we get outside and set up our camera in manual mode for video. Let's get into it. So the first thing we're gonna do is turn our camera on. Just to let you guys know, the camera that I'm doing the setup on is an older Canon 60D, so it's probably 10 to 12 years old. So the menu system might look slightly different, but uh, it's gonna have all the same settings as any other camera, Sony, Panasonic, Fuji, whatever it is, you can set your camera up based on these settings. So if you follow along, you should have everything roughly in the same area on whatever camera you're using. So let's get into it. So the first thing we have to do is hit our menu button to get into the menu. And our first option you see there is called movie exposure. And as you can see, everything is basically set in automatic right now. So the first thing we want to do is switch that over. So we're going to hit the set button, put it in, down to manual. And now our movie exposure is in manual mode. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to the next menu. We're going to set our frame rate. Now this one's kind of a personal preference thing. Some people like to shoot in 30 frames a second. Other people like to shoot in 24 frames a second. If you're doing sports or slow motion, you might want to put it in 60 frames or 120 frames. But for today's example, we're going to put it in 24. That's what I shoot everything in. That's just my personal preference. So let's go ahead and switch that to 24 frames a second. So we're going to hit the set button. We're going to go down to 1920 by 1080. And again, guys, this is an older camera, so there is no 4K. We're limited to 720p or 1080p. So we're going to go for 1920 by 1080, 24 frames per second. The next thing we're gonna do is set our shutter speed. And because we put our frame rate at 24 frames per second, the 180 degree shutter rule states that we should set our shutter speed to double whatever the frame rate is. So in our case, we set our frame rate at 24 frames per second. We're gonna put that to one over 48 if we have it in this camera. If not, the closest thing would be one over 50. If you happen to set your camera at 30 frames per second, you're gonna to wanna to put this at one over 60. So in order to do this on this camera, we're gonna hit the menu button to get out of the menu. Then we're on our main screen here and in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see a little thing that says 30. Now, sometimes it's gonna say one over 30. In this case, it's just saying 30, but that is our shutter speed. So we wanna change that to be double our frame rate. And the reason we wanna do this is to make sure that we have the right amount of motion blur when watching these videos back. So by setting our shutter speed to double our frame rate, we're gonna get the cinematic motion blur that our eyes are naturally used to seeing. So let's go ahead and do that. And to do that, we're gonna use our little dial here at the top. And as you can see, you know, we can set it really high. You can see the exposure is changing just by us changing that. But for our example today, we just wanna put it to double. So that would be one over 48, or in this case, 48, which we don't have. So we're gonna go for 50 since that's the closest thing. Okay, we've got our exposure in manual. We've got our frame rate set to 24. We've got our shutter speed to set to 50 or one over 50. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust our ISO. And for most cases, you're gonna wanna keep this as low as possible. So right now, as you can see in our bottom frame, it says ISO in auto. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit our ISO at the top here to get into that menu. And as you can see, the lowest we can go is 100. The highest in this case is 6400. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into that menu and set it to 100. What you're gonna to wanna to do here is you're gonna to wanna to keep the ISO as low as possible because if we turn it up too much, it's gonna to introduce noise to your picture. 
So in this case, we're gonna leave it at 100. As you can see, it didn't help with our um, exposure. We're basically still looking at a white screen. So the next thing we're gonna have to do in this case is we're gonna have to adjust our aperture. So to do that, we're gonna go back to our wheel at the back here. And if you notice at the bottom of our menu screen on the LCD screen, over here we had our 50 for our shutter speed. The next thing over is our aperture. So right now we're at an F 1.8 aperture. Obviously it's too low, we're letting in too much light so our picture is overexposed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this dial to the right and as you can see, that's slightly start going up. And what we're gonna do, now you can start seeing the picture come into play. And I would say maybe about an F11 right now is probably what we're gonna have to do to get a proper exposure on our shot. Okay guys, we've got our camera in manual. We are set up for 24 frames a second, one over 50 for our shutter speed, our aperture's at F11 to compensate for the light and our ISO is set to its lowest setting at 100. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set our white balance. And this is very important depending on the lighting that you're in. So for today, obviously we're outside, it's kind of a bright, it's, it's not sunny, but it's kind of a bright day with all the snow around. So in order to do that, we're gonna go into our menu. We're going to go back to, there it is, white balance. And as you can see right now, it is set to auto white balance. So we're gonna hit select. And in here, you can see there's all kinds of different preset settings that you can use. And I do use these all the time. So again, if you're outside daylight with the sun, you would hit this button, set it here. And now you're at 5,200 Kelvin. And Kelvin is what light is measured in. So generally, I mean, it can go lower than 3,200, but usually what we're using is between 3,200 and 5,200 or 5,600. So generally on a day to, like today, I would use something close to 5,200. You could just set the um, daylight setting here and you'd be good to go. However, you do need to change this if the lighting changes. And in the next video, we're gonna kind of get into how to change all these things. But for right now, we'll just go through some of these. There's shade, which is 7,000 Kelvin. Cloudy, which is 6,000 Kelvin. Tungsten light, which would be like your orangish light inside. That's 3,200. White fluorescent light, 4,000 Kelvin. And then if we get over to the end here, you can literally set your own Kelvin to whatever you want it to be. So for today's example, what we'll do is we'll just go back to our first setting. We're gonna hit daylight, we're gonna hit set, and we're good to go. The only other thing I'm going to do is to add our histogram. And I know this can kind of scare people away sometimes because they don't really understand how it works or how to read it. But again, in the next video, we're gonna go through how to set all these settings and change them depending on how the light changes. And that histogram is really gonna help us. So to do that, all we're gonna do is hit the menu button, make sure that we've got it set to, where is it here? There it is. Our options are brightness and RGB. And for this right now, we're gonna set it to brightness. Then to bring it up, we're gonna go back out of our menu. We're gonna hit our info button and that's gonna show up in the right hand corner. And again, guys, if you wanna hit this info button, depending on what you wanna see in your menu, you've got your level there. If you don't want anything, you can hit it a few times and then decide what you wanna be able to see on our screen. So right now you can see we've got our shutter speed at 50, F11 is our aperture, ISO's at 100. If we hit it again, we get a few more options. We can see that our, our frame rate is at 24. We're set to 1920 by 1080. And basically that's it. If we hit it one more time, we're gonna get our histogram. And basically we are ready to go out and start shooting. Okay guys, we've got our movie exposure set to manual. We've got our frame rate set to 24. Our shutter speed is set to one over 50. Our ISO is set to the lowest possible setting, which is 100 in this case. Our aperture is up high because we had to compensate for the light. So right now it's at F11. We've got our histogram up. The last thing we have to do is just set our, our lens into manual focus. And then our camera is basically in full manual mode. So to do that, we just hit the switch on the side of the lens here. And that is gonna switch our lens into manual. And then you're gonna need to adjust the dial here and that's gonna set your focus. So guys, I hope this helps. In the next video, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go out, we're gonna show you how to change and adjust all these settings depending on how the light changes and depending on where you're shooting, inside, outside. We'll just give you a little bit of an example of how and when to change these settings. 
That's it for today's video. The next one, we're going to jump out into the wilderness here, shoot some stuff, and we'll show you guys how to adjust all these settings. If you guys found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing as it really does make a difference. And I'd love to have you join me on this YouTube journey. I'll be releasing the rest of the videos in this series soon, so hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the videos on this channel. I have put out a video explaining how to shoot great cinematic video with your smartphone, and if you're interested in checking that out, please click on the link here. Thanks for watching today's video, I appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.